Here I have a CRT, cathode ray tube oscilloscope. It has a small screen, but it is very deep. Old style TV sets are also made of cathode ray tubes. A CRT or cathode ray tube is basically an electron gun plus a fluorescent screen. Cathode rays are electron beams. Usually it starts with a filament that we send a current through to heat up the filament. Some electrons in the very hot filament get enough energy to leave the filament and enter this region between the parallel plates. The electrons then get accelerated by the electric field in between and come out the other side traveling fast. This part is what we call an electron gun because it shoots the electrons out. When these electrons hit the screen, the fluorescent material would light up. Of course, in this case, only the center of the screen would light up, and that is certainly not very interesting. To make things more interesting, we can add a set of parallel plates here to deflect the electrons up and down, and another set of parallel plates here to deflect the electrons sideways, so they can hit different parts of the screen. To deflect the electron beam, we would connect each set of plates to a voltage and charge up the plates. For example, if the top plate is positively charged and the bottom plate is negatively charged, the negatively charged electron beam would experience an upward force when they pass through this region and deflect upward. We can increase the voltage to provide more deflection so the electrons hit a higher point on the screen. We can also flip the polarity and charge the top plate negative and the bottom plate positive so the electron beam gets deflected downward. It works the same way for that pair of plates. By controlling the voltages applied to these two sets of plates, we can control exactly where the electron beam hits the screen. Here I have this part from an old CRT screen. That is the filament. It's kind of hard to see because the filament is really thin. And this is the part that's used to accelerate the electrons. So this part is the electron gun. And this part, I guess, it is used to focus the electron beam. And then here we have the two sets of parallel plates. So that's uh, one set of parallel plates, and uh, that's the other set. So there are a lot of electrons moving towards the screen to light up the screen. Those negatively charged electrons are moving toward you. And I'm going to apply a magnetic field that is between these two poles of the magnet. The field lines come out of the north into the south. So the field goes to the right. The electrons are moving toward you and the field lines go to the right. Which direction magnetic force would act on the electrons? If I do the V cross B, the velocity goes towards you, the magnetic field goes to the right. I would have to face my palm in the direction of the magnetic field and turn my forefingers to the direction of V. So now I can do V cross B, my thumb goes up, but because the electrons are negatively charged, I have to remember to flip my thumb and the force goes downward. Now I'm going to bring this magnet close to that bright line. Can you see that the bright line does go down? What if I turn the magnet this way so the magnetic field goes downward? In which direction would the line move? So this time we have V cross B. So my palm face downward, but I need my forefingers to point toward you, the direction of the velocity. So now I can do V cross B, but I have to remember that the electrons are negative, so I have to flip the direction. So the line should move toward left. So I'm going to bring this magnet close. Do you see the line move toward left? Moves to the left. Right 